what's up, guys? Jeff with Going Direct. Scotty P here. It's NASCAR <laughs> week, baby. Whoa. Joey Logano, bro. Is, is that a one of one? Yes, two one of ones. And our winner is going to have this. I can't wait. It's Daytona week. Super oh, Bowl, man. what? It was wild. Like, my hair is actually, my hair looks pretty darn good, but it, it was standing up most of this week okay. because. Yeah, <clears throat> we were in full blown Super Bowl shuffle Super mode. Super Bowl shuffle, like you know, well, here shuffle the crew, shuffle on down, doing it for you. As a robot, I'm still. I tried. I want to shuffle as a robot, but man, we were in LA all week. I'm sure you saw some of the Ooh. social posts that we had. Uh, man, it was awesome. We got to catch up with some old friends, and like Ricky Williams and Aaron Jones. And Eliza Mitchell, and then some new friends like, and then uh, so gosh, we had Aiden Hutchinson, we yep. had Garrett Wilson, we had of course Matt Corral. Yes, uh, man, those guys were a lot of fun to talk yes. to. So we we got some time with them. Yes. Um, also, we can't forget this weekend. Also, NBA All Star Weekend. There's a lot going on right it's action now. Action packed. We went from Cedar Bowl to Super Bowl to NBA All Star in Daytona. So stay tuned. I'm excited. We got the VIP experience. We're going to take a winner down there. I'm sure you saw the interview, um, but he's super excited. And he's a big Joey Logano fan. So we get Whoa. to meet Joey. We'll be in the pits. We'll be there cheering him on. So check it out. We're going to show some of that content next week. Also, um, also one more thing, because we're, we're rocking and rolling. We got a lot to talk about. We are going to be opening two boxes after the interview. So have you got, heard of this? It's a I don't little know. thing called Emac. If I just covered that sport up right there, nobody would care. But at the end of the day, this is immaculate soccer, dude. And you know what? It, do you know what it is? Heavy hitters. It's immaculate. It is. And then, and then, hey, not to be outdone by immaculate soccer, we have elite basketball. This year's elite basketball is super awesome. May yes. I add? We just opened a little of that just to see what it looked like, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So. Uh, check this out. We've got some of our Super Bowl interviews to share with you now. Hello, there ain't no reason to settle. I won't break the Sony. Man, I won't break the Sony. I'm rhyming a perfect cup. I spent time in the tropics, but I'm back. Then I got a lust at my own mind who's firing up the business. I am flagging a perfect cup. I'm denying a perfect cup. They're in all black and they buff it. A hundred racks in their buckets. They don't cover my losses. I keep my eye on the profit. Only talk to the bosses because I'm off to that greatness. I'm just rhyming off topic up. What's up, guys? Jeff here, Panini, going direct. I'm here with Matt Corral, QB from Old Miss. What's up, man? How you doing? Are you having fun at the Super Bowl? Yeah, I'm really glad to be here. I'm thankful to be in this position, for sure. What do you think of the uh, the Panini booth? This is pretty wild, right? Yeah, I know. This is my first experience doing this, and, you know, they hit a home run with this stuff. This is insane. So when you think about going to the NFL, what excites you the most? Honestly, just doing what I love. I mean, it's nothing – I mean, just – being on the top level that, you know, what I've been doing since I was six, um, you know, I couldn't be more thankful to be in this position. And, you know, to all the people that's helped me get to where I am today, because, you know, nobody could do this this, this alone. Um, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for those type of people and, uh, you know, just, again, grateful and blessed to be in this position. Absolutely. What are you doing to prepare for the draft? Uh, everything from A to Z, getting my weight up, getting on the board work, learning all my X's and O's, um, and more importantly, just working on my mental. Because, uh, I, I mean, physically, you know, I'm not worried about my physical talent. You know, I, you know, I wouldn't be in this position if, uh, you know, if I couldn't do it. You know, and the, the great ones, what they do to separate themselves, it's all mental. So, I mean, that's the biggest thing that I've been working on is just working on my mental game. I love it, man. So you've been a Panini athlete for a while. How has that relationship been? Uh, you know, it's great. Ever since, you know, Zach introduced me to uh, Brian Bain, and Brian's been nothing but great to me. And, uh, you know, we hit it off the very first time I met him. And, uh, you know, just just growing that relationship and seeing what's, what's for the future, I'm excited. Dude, what was it like to have a billboard in Times Square? You know, it was, it was crazy just because, you know, I... I've, I've, I've never thought I was going to have my own billboard in Times Square for, you know, just, it was surreal. You know, it left me speechless when I really saw it because I went to go see it in person. Um, and just seeing myself up there, it, you know, it, I couldn't put it into words of, you know, you know, just being a kid from, being a kid from Ventura that, you know, didn't expect much, but, you know, football and how far it's brought me and, you know, I couldn't be more, more thankful. You earned it, brother. 
Thank you. It's, it's awesome, man. So, what what is what's the future hold for you? Like, what what is one thing we can look forward to? Um, you know, one thing that you can you guys should look forward to is just you know, you know, watching me grow, but not only me grow, just you know, helping others, helping the kids that you know thought that they were, you know, that you know that this is possible for them as well. You know, because I you know I remember being that kid that being wowed by all these professional athletes and you know you know they're normal people too just like just like I was and I know there's kids out there that look at me like like wow like he's he's actually doing it and you know just giving them giving the the help and support that knowing that they can do it too you know and it's, and it's nothing crazy it's just whatever you put your mind into and your time into you can achieve it you are living the American dream Matt Corral it's a pleasure talking to you man thanks for your Thank time you for having me see you guys next time What's up, Riley? I know that you bumped into me. I don't know if I bumped into you. Yeah. Just know I do remember you. And hopefully I'll be seeing you soon. Get the crowd running. You hear the sounds coming? You felt the crowd move. Yeah. Bad news. Time's up. We on the way. Get ready for liftoff. We in your face. Train to fall. I don't know. Nobody's safe. Only the strong survive. Are you out of place? Win a beginner because we coming to finish up. we we'll finish up, be gone before dinner's done. Move quick or be the next meal. Cause you can't be caught if you don't stand still. What's up guys? Jeff here, going direct. I'm with Aiden Hutchinson, defensive end from Michigan, man. What's up? Dude, I'm, I'm happy to be here, man. It's, uh, we're sitting here in the sunny California. Can't complain about anything, man. Is this your first Super Bowl that you've attended? Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to the Super Bowl, right, right, right. but um, this is the first time I've been around all this, all these events and been close to the Super Bowl for sure. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, it's wild. It's wild. What do you think of the panini booth? Oh, it's uh, it's awesome, man. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I haven't tried the food yet. I haven't really done anything but do interviews here, but it's been great, though. And I know my family's having a good time. So Awesome, man. Well, the food's one of the main attractions, so That's we got to right. get you over That's there right. soon. Get this man fed. <laughs> so... Uh, Dude, when you think about joining the NFL, what excites you the most about that idea? You know, I'm just a natural competitor, you know, and um, being able to play, do what I love to do at the highest level. I mean, I cannot wait to go out there and to, to see what I got, to put to put my uh, my talent and everything that I come with uh, to the test. So, um, I mean, I'm excited. Uh, I can't wait to uh, for that first game, for that first practice even. So, uh, I feel like I'm ready to go. What, what are you doing to get prepared for the draft? Are you able to tell us or is it a secret? No, no, yeah. I'm, I'm out here in California about an hour away, just okay. training my butt off, uh, working out, running, getting as fast as I can, as strong as I can. And uh, you know, I'm ready to light it up at the combine and then just sit there and, and wait for a team to take me. I love it, man. So obviously NFL is the dream for many young athletes yeah. out there. Yeah. Who, who do you look up to in the league? Is there any any NFL greats out there that you think about and try to kind of emulate? Um, you know, I, I've watched a lot of T.J. Watt film. I've watched some, some of the Bosa Brothers film. Um, I mean, those guys are absolute studs, so I just try to take little bits and pieces, but uh, for the most part, I'm just trying to I'm trying to do my game. You know, I, I think I have a very unique game, um, and uh, you know, I, I'm just really excited to, uh, to to show what I got. Man, we're excited for you. So, yeah. um, did you ever collect sports cards as a kid? Uh, a little bit. I, I had some football cards and some baseball cards, but um, really not not a whole bunch. Well, you will have your own sports cards oh, yeah. here. Yeah. You know, God willing. Yeah. What, what what does that mean to you? What what does that even what would it feel like to open a pack of cards and pull right. your card out of there? Oh my God, it'd be crazy. You know, just you know, growing up as a kid, that's what you think about. You want your own, uh, you know, trading card and stuff like that. But uh, you know, to actually be here and to actually, you know, have this opportunity, I mean, it's wild. You know, thinking about just me as a little kid and, and to now, I mean, it's crazy. And, and I'm blessed and I'm su super grateful. So, man, we're really pulling for you. So, what is one? One special thing about Aiden Hutchinson that the collectors would be surprised to know. Um, I have two cats. Do you really? Uh, people, people look at me from the outside. They see dog guy. They see Midwest. They see grit. He's they a see, big dude. <laughs> they, they see trucks. But actually, I got two little cats at home, little kittens, and um, two kittens. Two two little kittens. Well, they're they're getting a little bigger now, so I don't know if you consider them a kitten anymore. I got them this season, but um, dogs dogs are just. 
in college football, it's too hard with your traveling and a lot of your school. Like you don't have enough time. But cats, I mean, I got two of them, so they just they occupy each other. I go home, I get free, you know, cat snuggles at night. Of course, so that's, I love that's, that's all that matters. Dude, I love that. I love that. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, man. I really appreciate you giving yeah, us man. a little time Thanks for, for having the me. podcast. And dude, we're so excited for you. Oh yeah, I appreciate it, man. All right, I'm have a good one. Up. We'll see you guys next time, hey guys. We're back. Yeah, panini unwrapped. This is everybody's favorite portion. Of it, we got elite basketball. We're gonna start off yes. with immaculate soccer, man. Everybody loves this. How many cards? Seven cards. It's the immaculate collection. No, not that one. Not that one. Oh gosh, can't take this guy anywhere. No, let's go. So here it comes okay, surgery. Eat scalpel. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Go. Oh. I saw the top card. Oh. I saw the top card. Oh. Oh. No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Here. First card. Now we're gonna butcher these names, so hang in there. Duvon Zapata, out of. That's out of eighty. Eighty. What team is that? Does it say Columbia? That's yeah, because I pulled. I pulled. Uh, here you go. I'm going to show it. Roberto Alvarado, and he's from Mexico, so that's pretty cool. I love the country cards. I love that. All right, you're in. All right, so this is a uh, a jersey card. Charlie Taylor out of 83 is kind of a random number, isn't it? Out of 83. Out of 83. All right, now mine's out of 25. Look at that big there swatch right there. Antonio. That's not random. Nasserino. I'm going it. I think I said a, that. I think I said that about as cool as I could possibly say. Take a look yeah. at that. Oh, yeah, the big fat I like that like stripe from the side there. All right, so we have Alexander Lacazetta. Well, I from Arsenal. Uh, this is out of ninety nine. Also a nice card. Yeah. Now I've got a heralded signatures Ooh. of goalkeeper, Ooh. Out goalkeeper of, out of 25, the keep, Mark Andre Trey Sturgeon. And again, a hyphenated name. Funny story, my man Jeff earlier was like, hey, there's a lot of hyphenated <laughs> names out there. And you know what? I'm right gonna, on cue. I'm going to save the last card for him, but man, this is a big one for USA fans. I'm not going to lie. All right, so out of 99, Landon Donovan, Otto. That is, man, it's shiny. It's it is very it is shiny. soaking up all that light. It's very shiny. And you know what's, you know what's going to make it It's even shinier is when I take that. So thank you. Thank you, Landon. <laughs> I love you. Just like that. Just like that. Now we're going to move on to elite basketball. Now elite basketball is saying two autographs per box, 20, box, 20 packs per box. We right? got some opening to so do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split them up. We're gonna split them up ten and ten. Dude, you full blown savage. I can't it. count, so make that's sure that's okay. ten. I'll, I'll, you gave me six. All right, so, so you gave me seven. Three, okay. One, two, three. Oh yeah, there. Boom, eight. boom, boom. So here we go. Now I have eight. All right, here we go. I wish you luck. Now we saw some of these earlier, and you you commented on how cool the base cards were. They so, are not. Uh oh. I mean, we're gonna uh, oh, what's going we're gonna on struggle. Here? We're gonna struggle to show these on camera. Yeah, they are shiny. Jimmy Butler, that's the base card. So it's just all hollow foil. Um, very nice. Oh, okay. So, um, is it each pack comes with an insert? It I feels that way. So that here's way. a Cameron Johnson. This is one of the parallels. Yes. This is not numbered, but it's like an orange parallel. It's yeah, we'll let you really know when cool. they're numbered. This is a power move, right? Or no, power performer of Brandon Ingram. You're, you're kind of a power performer. I'm a power mover is what I <clears throat> All right. All right, so let's see what we got. The anticipation is killing me. All right, so I got another insert. Spotlight. No, spellbound. I'm going to – I see him real quick and then I go, Chris Paul. So, again, very shiny. A lot of the elite God, my guy Bradley Beal is also an orange. I'm calling these orange. I don't know if it, it's. I believe it, it's not gold, but uh, it looks orange to these eyes. It looks orange to these eyes, and these eyes don't lie. That's right. 
All right, so here's an acetate one. Clarity of Anthony Davis. So that's pretty cool. So there's a mix of things in here. A lot of foil, a lot of uh, hollow foil, but, you know, oh, you get the yeah, one are, So one of the cool things about this set is all the rookies are numbered. They're fairly low numbered. So, uh, okay, so here we got Jalen Suggs. Oh, this Ooh. is out of $9.99. So Jalen Suggs, I like it. super low numbered, but it is numbered. But it is so numbered. it's essentially numbered out. Yeah, but that's the rookie. So that's yeah, great, yeah, exactly. Man. All right. So my insert again. So do they call him Suggs McKenzie? We're calling these orange because he said they are, but they do look orange. I'm not gonna lie. Moses Brown. You plowed right over my Suggs McKenzie, Jack. I did. No respect. Okay. Uh, ooh, oh, oh. Uh oh. He got some fire, man. Yeah. He got some fire. I just got. Westbrook out of 10, the playing card. What are these called? Uh, the decks, is that right? Yes. Yeah, on deck maybe. So we deck. got another one, Mikel Bridges. Mikel Bridges. But I got to show this guy just because, come to find out, as me and Jeff get to know each other, this is our both of our favorite basketball players. Dude! Luka Doncic. Been lighting it up. So I don't want anybody to get their feelings hurt if they're big. Uh, Porzingis fans, but Luca has been on a tear since KP got traded. I don't know if it's related. So Just cool. saying. This is actually a really card. This is a rookie, too. Isaiah Jackson. It's a die cut. You can see the die cut around it. It's a red, and it's numbered to 77. So that's pretty cool. So my man here is kind of polarizing. Julius Randle, I like him. A lot of people have mixed feelings about him. But uh, Ooh, what are your feelings? I heard making his first all-star appearance this weekend. Ja Morant. Ja Morant. Panini exclusive Ja yes. Moran. We love Ja around here. Oh. And then, hold, before oh. he shows that, let me jump in there and show oh. you die cut. Oh. James Harden. I love some of them are die cut. So the blue parallel is handsome. That's Colin Sexton. Speaking of handsome, out of 99. Blue parallel. You asked me a question. What was it? It was, I don't. I don't even. Know. Ooh, That's not that good. Uh oh, they, we gotta have to fight over cards, right? So this is a, a again another one of the deck cards of Luca. Oh, so did you see that? No. Oh, dude. So I'll that let him nice have card. that since I stole the, I stole the Landon Donovan out of his hands before he even had a chance to see what card it was. So before I even figured out he was on the USA team. Yeah. So uh, Steph Curry base. Super reflective, but I'm excited about this. Oh my gosh, Ooh. Larry Bird, and it's number 33 out of 35. Ooh. We got a jersey number, Bird Auto. That's like a eBay. That one is one, they say, mo right? money. Thank you for the uh, Lucas. Money. I was celebrating this bird card, and then this is like a purple, and that one's out of 49. Terrence Ross. I mean, it's not a Larry Bird autograph, cool card. But what is? I mean, maybe Unless it's autograph. Maybe Terrence Ross right? will be as good as Larry Bird one day. I'm not gonna hold my breath. Okay. Oh Larry. man, this is the Luca box. Woo! Here we go. Oh. Star status, Luca. Dude. Star status. Let me see that. Let me get my peepers on it. There you go. That's a good looking card. There you go. Okay, so we have uh, Devin Booker. This is Clarity. Hence it being clear. I clear I clarity yeah. like that card. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I got Rod Strickland. Hot Rod. Hot Rod Strickland, dude. That one is numbered. Oh, you though. got the auto. Number to 49, it looks like. So he's not number 49. Hot Rod. Hot not like rod. my bird. Hot Rod and my bird. Last pack here. Last pack, last pack, and ooh, I like this guy. I think everybody on the planet does. Spellbound, ooh, Steph Curry. He is an extremely likable player. I'm just going to show you one more time. Larry Bird, elite, numbered 33 out of 35. I'm going to show you Landon Donovan, a true American <laughs> right here. USA, USA. It's a World Cup year. Landon Donovan, Daytona 500, Joey Logano, we love you. 
see though. Good call, man. 